Good morning, world. It's Ginger with Steep Tea with Ginger Bee. I just received a shipment last night, my September special. I pre-measured some water in it. It holds about 16 ounces, so I'm going to consider it two servings. Our beautiful black and orange mug. Check out the tea tin. I don't have anything in there yet, but just for the... Oh, there we go. Isn't that cute? Love it. And the Tanya's Pumpkin Matcha Green Tea. So I did open it last night because I wanted to uh, smell how yummy it might be. And it does smell very yummy. Anyway, but because of the matcha, I wasn't about to enjoy some of this. So this is going to be the first time I'm trying it. But what I actually do for my first cup of tea or matcha in the morning, I actually enjoy in a cup of coffee. So what I did, I used one of those machines with one of those little cups. I did the smallest size and what I, and that's, oh, I'm sorry. And that is a half teaspoon. I only do a half teaspoon regardless of the size of my cup for my first one. So I do have some coffee in here already. Um, in there with my matcha and I'm just gonna have at it. Can you see how that's mixing it very well? I'm actually gonna take my matcha spoon because I'm gonna have a, I usually have two matchas every morning. All right, that looks very well blended. So just bear with me a moment because I'm going to take this, blend it, and I'm actually going to make a little bit more coffee in my machine. That just takes a moment. In the meantime, um, I'm going to get my Meet Your Matcha Shaker ready because I need to get my cold matcha together. Um, not sure if I'm going to add a little shake of cream to my coffee with the matcha or not. The reason I say that, I typically do use a little, either vanilla creamer or um, if not creamer, I use a heavy whipping cream. And my first step is not to sweeten it. And I may end up adding a pack of stevia, a pack of equal, uh, maybe even a shot of honey. Just waiting on my machine over here. Like I said, it's one of these machines that uses one of these type of cups. Um, so. There's my cup of coffee. Yes, the tea lady drinks coffee. Only one a day. And I'm going to just hit it again. And what I am going to have to do is I am going to have to say stand by because if anyone knows me, I won't ever drink that cup of coffee that hot. Um, maybe my Mr. T would, but I have to wait a few minutes. So stand by for that and we'll check it out. All right, and while I'm waiting for my coffee pumpkin matcha to chill, um, actually, I just added my pumpkin matcha to my cold water in my matcha shaker. Which I should have did that on film, and I forgot to hit the button, so I apologize. That's what you get for asking me to record in the morning. Now, I did use cold water right from my uh, Brita filter thing um, because... Since I can't taste the hot one right away, because it's too hot for me, I can taste this. Okay. So let's just open this up without making too much of a mess. See, that does mix that very nice. I don't see any chunks. I, I am very happy with our matcha shaker, by the way. Um, fits nice in the car. It does, if you need to, put an extra ice cube in it. It's not insulated, so it needs to be cold. Maximum you want to do is warm. So... Cheers. This is just pumpkin matcha with, oh my God, someday we need to get the iPhone or whatever world to uh, record this, the lovely smells of the aromas. Oh, wow. And that does not have any cream in it. And that is very, 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 let me do this. This is really good. Um, let me get my little sample cup here because you need to see this seeing it in a stainless mmm cheers 
yum 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 okay that pot that's lovely i may have to order myself another special now i'm going to attempt to taste this while it's this hot Ooh, that's nice but like i said because this lady likes her coffee just with a little cream i'm just going to use a little heavy cream Give that a nice little shot there. I guess I could have got my frother out this morning, but it's called patience. One more dish I don't want to do, so we're just going to mix that up a little bit. So this is the coffee with the matcha. Now I just add a little heavy cream. I'm making a mess on my counter, but that's okay. Oh, that's very nice. I think it's time to go. Out to the patio with my calendar, get my day set up, and uh, get my next order together because this is only available in September. You do get the cup, the tin, and the pumpkin matcha. Uh, maybe I'll have to give a cup as a gift because I just want another matcha. Okay, contact me, Ginger B, Steve T. If you want to have a party, we do have matcha parties. Um, if you just want a tea party, or if you just want to place an order, reach out. Thanks, have happy sipping.